This Independence Day, plenty of people in Dallas and Collin counties have branches littered around their homes from the storms that rolled through in May. Yes, some residents spent their holiday helping those in need. WFAA's Jobin Puniker went to Plano and talked to one family who got some much needed help. There is no hiding what happened at the Warren home in Plano. There are just limbs and limbs and limbs in the driveway. This has been our reality for a month. It's now July 4th. First, it was the May storm that took out their Bradford pear tree, which took out their fence, and now the debris has taken out the driveway. We are talking a gigantic trunk off the side of the tree. Marsha couldn't clean this up herself, and her husband just had shoulder surgery. Our call volume here was significantly higher. That's when Plano Neighborhood Services and some very good neighbors stepped in. It would still be in my yard if it wasn't for the volunteers. All last month and through the end of this month, volunteers have been tackling house after house. We absolutely understand that sometimes due to physical or financial hardship, you just need some help to make that happen. But the debris remains because there's so much of it citywide. Well, the city of Plano has picked up 53,000 cubic yards of storm debris. That's enough to cover three football fields, 10 feet high. Could be somebody mowing their yard. During our interview, Marsha found another thing to celebrate on this day. Oh my God, you guys are here. The crews who have been working round the clock six days a week for almost six weeks showed up. Free of the debris on Independence Day, that's great. Marsha and her husband would really like to get past this storm. Last one. Thanks to the city, some good neighbors, uh, and a perfectly timed pickup crew. I think that we can start to get back to normal now. That's now possible. Free from debris. In Plano. I know my neighbors will be happy too. <laughs> I'm Jobin Funniker.